Hi, I'm Keanu. I'm the founder of Jaconi, and today we're gonna talk cookies. People struggle photographing food simply because they've never been taught how. When it comes to cookies, most cookies are pretty thin and can be pretty small. They're typically flat. They're flat. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Three simple ways of how you can photograph your cookies. Before you start taking photos of your cookies, there's a couple of things that you should do first. There's a saying that the best camera is the one that you have. For a lot of us, the camera we have is right in our pocket with our mobile phones. Make sure your lens is nice and clean. A lot of people wonder, why do my food photos never look great? It's probably because you have your fingerprints blocking everything. So just give it a good little wipe and your lens should be crystal clear and give you much better photos. The lights in our home have many functions, but sometimes they can meddle with your food photos turn off those competing lights in the room, find where you have the best lighting and that might not be in your kitchen. So have a look around your home and find some window light. They'll give you a beautiful photo. The first opportunity to take a photo is actually on the baking sheet. It's fresh off the oven, the chocolate is warm and gooey. When I wanna photograph my food, I also want to eat my food and not spend all day trying to take a picture and I find overhead to be the simplest and easiest way to photograph a cookie. For mess-free cleanup, I always, always line my baking tray with parchment paper. However, using a white parchment paper will give a contrast if you're using a tan cookie, which a lot of cookies are. So with the chocolate chip cookie, brown parchment paper, it's a little too monochrome. It doesn't stand out. You wanna direct someone's attention to that delicious, tan, chocolatey, gooey cookie, because that's what we're photographing, right? It's all about the cookie. Now that I have a nice white canvas to work on, I'm gonna do a little bit of rearranging. So you wanna bring a couple cookies together, have one, you might be a little farther apart, but I really love to isolate the best looking one. And I like to get that one in the center. That's a hero. It's a Beyonce of your batch of cookies. Your star goes front and center. And then you can pick the rest based off of little characteristics that you think are attractive or beautiful. And so I'm making sure they're as close to that main hero cookie as possible to really create that, that, mm, the goodness. You gotta overload on the goodness. Should you want more from your photo, you can add a couple household items to just give a little bit more of a moderate take to your photo. If you have any kind of light white countertop in your home, that will be really nice when you wanna take a little step further outside of that baking tray and show the countertop. Once you found a contrasting colored surface to photograph the cookies on, I'm just gonna bring back in the tray not touching anything too much. So applying the same principles I did of arranging the cookies in a way that looks appealing on the baking sheet. After the cookies come out the oven, what do you do? You serve them to people. So I add in a little plate of where the cookies can be served, as well as a serving spatula. And I think it looks a little nicer to tell that story by having a couple of cookies on the plate rather than having a naked and empty plate. I'm just gonna add in a linen. It can be plain, it can have stripes, it can really reflect whatever energy you want. All these items all can be seen as props. So the props you choose can either be a reflection of the moment that you're sharing, but also be an extension of yourself, your taste, your personality, and that also comes down to color choice. These cookies are warm. They have these golden tones. So I made sure that the props I use are in a cooler tone. So they have a soft backdrop that add a bit of texture, but the eye is still on the cookie. To take this kind of photo, it doesn't take a lot of time. It's just a little bit of fiddling around with placement, composition, until you get a photo that you're really proud of and that really show the thing that you just made. Let's talk about being extra. 
After all, you did spend your whole afternoon baking up something delicious and you want the people to know how good it really is. So they're getting off the baking tray and on to a serving platter. This can be a wire rack, a serving dish, anything that is getting it out of that oven context and into the ready to chow down. For me, less is more and more is more are equally true. You can get really close and have just a couple of cookies in your frame, but if you have a dozen, I'm shooting with 10 cookies. It's enough to show that you made something. It's also telling someone this is gonna make a few of these. With the props I chose here, I still wanted to pull things that wouldn't compete with the cookies. So using blacks and whites and just more muted neutral tones still gives the cookie the moment to be the center of the photo. However, it's okay when there's so much going on to play off of the colors in the actual cookie themselves. There's ways that you can use whole ingredients to help inform the eye of, hey, this is what's in here. Those ingredients that make people say, ooh, I want that. Put those on the table so people can understand the full story of what's going on here. Another layer to the story isn't just about eating the food, but what you're eating the food with. So my first instinct was like, well, I'll have my cookies with tea. But once I got on the scene, it was all down to that color competition. I swapped it out for a classic Western pairing, which is milk and cookies. Sometimes you gotta do it for the gram. All three of these photo styles are things that I use just depending on the day. Next time you're taking photos of your cookies, I hope you guys use some of these tips. And if you do, use our hashtag MyJaconi so we can see. And let us know if there are any other foods that you're cooking all the time but just can't figure out how to take a great picture of. Hopefully we'll be able to make future episodes of it. Bye. Oh, you're really good.